So characterization and metadata extraction are complete. And now we're at our appraised SIP for preservation point. If we look at our help text, it says appraised SIP for preservation. Delete any files not accepted for preservation. Delete any zipped or otherwise packaged files. In the future, this appraisal step will be assisted by a summary of technical information extracted from FITS. Right now, we're just going to click Approve to move the SIP through further processing. Now, all the files in the SIP are being normalized. This means that Preservation and access copies are being made of all the objects. The preservation copies will be kept in the AIP along with the original files, and the access copies will be uploaded to the access system as the DIP. So we have two approval steps now, upload DIP and store AIP. For the upload DIP stage, we can go into our file system and actually have a look at our DIP. And what we're looking at here is all the objects in the SIP they are, were mainly raster images and vector images, and the access formats for those are JPEG and PDF. At this point, we can remove objects from uh, the DIP if we don't want them uploaded into the access system right now, let's say for copyright or security purposes. We can then later, uh, at any point in the future, upload these access copies to the DIP. I'm going to approve upload DIP. Now, store AIP. If we look at the help text, it says, if desired, review normalized files and any other content. Click approve to move the AIP into archival storage. So let's look at our AIP. This is a, a zipped AIP that's been zipped in compliance with the Library of Congress's Bagot specification. So these are Bagot files, and our actual AIP is in here. And what you can see is you can see the Objects folder, the Metadata folder, and the logs. There are a number of logs relating to the processing of the SIP. Every file has been given a SHA-1 checksum. And there's also a METS file containing a full premise metadata implementation, uh, complete with metadata that were added during all the processing events that the SIP went through. Back in our dashboard, we're going to approve. We're still waiting for the DIP to upload but the AIP has been moved into archival storage. Our DIP has been successfully uploaded. If any of these steps had failed, you would see a failed message. And the uh, instead of green, you would see pink to indicate that a task had failed. Everything here has been completed successfully, however. And we can now go into our online access system and have a look at our uploaded DIP. Archivematica comes pre-bundled with the ICA Atom software, which is archival description software. And if we click on archival descriptions, you may recall we uploaded this DIP to the Arbutus Studio phone. This is a description of the phone. And you can see in the cover flow viewer, we have thumbnails of our uploaded objects. We can click on them to open a description of the object. 
This is a reference display copy of our JPEG that was uploaded. There's a small amount of metadata that's been uploaded as well automatically. And the archivist can go in and add descriptive metadata as needed. So we've reached the end of this demonstration. We've taken a folder of objects and processed them through ingest, packaging of the AIP, creation of a DIP, and uploading of a DIP to a public access system. There's a lot more detail on our wiki, and I encourage you to go have a look and to give Archivematica a try. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to your feedback.